All right, guys, we are back at the job. Four pines are down. We got the international truck hooked up to the chipper. Joe just got a rope here in this dead sassafras, the one on the right there. It's just a spar. Um, we're gonna get this plastic thing out of the way and then we're gonna drop it heading back into the woods uh, with the rope. And then we'll hook it up to the winch and suck it through, chip into the dumpster can. Here we go. So that was quick and easy. Just got to flush the stump. This is the first time that I'm chipping into the dumpster can with this new international truck. And uh, we adjusted the chute a little bit and the deflector plate worked great. Chipped right up into the front, filled it up nice. This truck's starting to uh, really pay off. Really enjoying having it. All right, guys, so we are in position in the driveway in front of the truck. This oak right here is the first one that's gonna get done. Joe's gonna climb that one. There's not much in it, but he is gonna go up. Um, there's a dead bone like right there. Another little wispy one out there that he's gonna try and get. Then he's gonna thin out some of the trunk suckers just to let a little bit more air and light through. But that one's pretty minimal. Um, this one I'm gonna climb. And as you can see, it's a big old oak. Um, I'm gonna be zapping off all these trunk suckers on the trunk and then Right up above us, you can kind of see right there. There's a big dead piece that comes all the way back to that limb right there. Gonna get that. And then on the back side, I'm gonna have to walk way out on that big limb right there. And I'm gonna have to try and get those two uh, dead pieces, or actually three, one, two, three, four four dead pieces out on that back side. Um, limb's not too steep, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue as long as I get a good tie-in point. So uh, I'm gonna get my rope set. And, oh, Joe's got the big shot right now. Maybe we'll use that. This is like a slingshot that throws your throw ball up into the tree. It's pretty cool. All right, guys, so we got the rope set way up in the tree here. It's a little far away from the trunk. 
as far as getting the trunk suckers, but that's, that's all right. I should be able to pull myself in using the actual suckers themselves and then throw my buck strap around the trunk of a tree. But as you can see here, this is a 150 foot rope and we only have a couple feet left on the ground. So it's pretty much maxed out, meaning that the top of the rope is at about 75 foot. Um, so I am going to tie on my saw first since I have such little slack tie that on now I'm gonna put on my foot ascender this thing is a big help okay I'm putting on my foot ascender here this thing grabs the rope in one direction and allows uh, allows you to use your foot to help you ascend up your rope as well so we're gonna clip in and get started. All right, now that I got my buck strap around the tree, I can kind of just walk up it like so. was going to try and wrap it around the tree again, but I think that's going to be pretty tough with all these suckers around, so I'm just going to latch on here. Get these couple first. Hopefully the camera didn't get jostled around too much. Okay, so my plan now is gotten pretty much all the suckers that I wanted to get, except for these last couple. But um, because my rope is on the left side of this big limb here, I need to ascend up to get over on the other side to allow me to get out onto this limb. Um, I couldn't see exactly where my rope was before when I set it because all the suckers were in the way. Now that they're clear, pretty obvious what I need to do so I'm gonna hightail it up hop over maybe reset my rope and we should be good hey see where my rope is right there I just need to get it on the other side here that way I can walk out good to take a little rest though I was uh, pretty high up. Make sure you guys are still on. Yep. All right. Okay. While I'm here, we got this dead piece out there that I can go and grab and then this one um, fortunately Joe has my pole saw um, so I'm gonna have to walk out a little bit farther Watch 
Alright guys, so we just cut those two dead pieces from right here. We got a couple more out in front of me here. Another one off to the right, you might be able to see right there. We got another one up there, another one out there. I can reach most of these from right where I'm at with my pole saw. Joe, I just called over, he's got a couple more cuts to make with it. Um, then he's done, so he's going to be heading down and uh, then he'll tie on the pole saw for me and uh, I can make the cuts instead of going back down over to the lat limb then having to climb back up just to get these last few cuts save a little energy take a little break so we'll check back in uh, once the pole saw is tied on all right Got the pole saw. Joe sent it up with no scabbard. For those of you that watched the last video of me climbing, I mentioned I like to climb with the scabbard just because it's a little bit more extra protection. Other people don't. Joe's one of those people that don't. But that's okay. To each their own. Nice thing about oak is it gets really brittle. A lot of the time these really dead ones you can just pull right off, you don't even have to cut them. Just like all those. Headache! All right, I think that pretty much pretty much does it for this side of the tree. Again, we're just only going after the really big dead wood that can threaten uh, cars and stuff underneath so I think we're pretty good when I get to a point where there's a limb with no big sizable branches to hold my rope in place you can double it over and then it kind of locks it in place that way you don't go sliding back just like I did here Okay, tighten that up. I'm gonna take a wrap off so I can lower myself back down. I don't have a drone. This is the next best thing.
right, guys, we made it all the way out here. Joe's almost done tipping up. We got like three more big cuts. We should be good. Big cup for Pulsa. Take this one, get it out of my way. All right, that's the last big one that comes. Kind of over the shed. What? Also, yeah, I'm surprised I got out as far as I did. That one piece with all the water made it all slippery right here. I thought my boots were gonna get too wet. Yeah, everything got soaked right here, but the moss kind of soaked it up on my boots. Hope you enjoyed this Dude Ranch DIY aerial adventure. Like, subscribe, comment. Yeah, you heard Joe. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Gotta get to 500 subscribers, or 3,000 subscribers. Sorry, we need 500 subscribers. The next two months, I'm leaving it up to you guys. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to Earth. Sponsored by a train company. <laughs> Joe wants all the big sponsorships. Joe wants a crane. I just want some water. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. As I said, as I was coming down the tree. Thanks for watching per usual. If you like this stuff, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. Any questions, comments, or feedback about any of the equipment, what we were doing in this video, let me know in the comment section below. But for now, that's it. I'm Jake, this is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.